What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how simple it is for you to set up your Wi-Fi. So you just got your ViewQuest bundle plan, you have your router, your modem, and you're wondering what to do with it. I'm gonna simplify everything for you today. So before we start, you'll need your starter kit. What's included should be your modem, your router, your LAN cable, which is just the uh, cables with the rectangular ends, and the fiber patch cable, which is that really, really super yellow wire, can't miss it, and that's attached to your FTP, or your fiber termination point. So for today, we're using the Netgear RAX 20. So this Wi-Fi router is fantastic. It's Wi-Fi 6, and it's super, super fast, really secure. So this video will span in two parts. The first section will be how to connect your FTP, remember your fiber termination point, to your modem. After that, we're gonna connect your modem to your router, and then you can use your internet. So let's open this guy up. We have our ViewQuest modem in here. Check this out. Hear the sound? Oh damn, who doesn't love that? Step one, you have your modem. There's this little black casing at the back here. You're just gonna have to pop that out, remove that, black piece. You'll have to grab your fiber patch cable, which is the super yellow one, remember? And then it has a green point. And you're gonna plug the green part into this green section here. So that's super simple. Plug that in. Plug the power adapter from the modem box into the power socket. All right, so I got that connected and this is the end of the wire into the modem towards the back. Two ports connected now. All you have to do in step two is just plug your LAN cable right into the back of that port and now your modem is set. So it's powered, you got your LAN cable in, fiber termination point connected. So all you're gonna do now is just turn on the modem, switch on the power plug and you should see some of the lights coming on here. And once this is powered on, your modem set up. Super simple. All right, so this RAX20 from Netgear is a fantastic router, actually included in the Nighthawk Max Plan from ViewQuest. Super fast Wi-Fi 6, covers a wide range, perfect for homes, for security, protecting your network from hackers. Plug the power adapter into the socket. Don't turn it on yet. We're gonna plug the power cable into the back of the router. And you see there's a couple ports at the back here. Very, very important, yellow port over here. This is called the WAN port, W-A-N. And basically you're gonna connect your modem into this port only, not the rest. Otherwise, it won't work. Remember that LAN cable from that modem, the one in the middle? You're gonna plug that into that WAN port. But once that's nice and secure, you're pretty much all done. That's all the hardware setup we're gonna do for today. So the next step is we're gonna connect our devices to the router. I'm gonna use my phone today because it's just super simple. Everyone has a phone with them. I'm just gonna get my iPhone screen into here and we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into Wi-Fi and then we're gonna search for our Netgear router. On your router, you can find where it says your SSID. So that just tells you your name and it says Netgear 14. So I'm gonna click Netgear 14 on my phone. I'm gonna enter the password, which is Magical Owl 447. No idea why they named it Magical Owl, but maybe someone likes owls in Netgear. <laughs> so once you're connected to the internet, basically you can do whatever you like. You can go onto YouTube, you can watch some, uh, some fishing videos. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you can go check the Netgear RX20 out. You can go to viewquest.com and uh, check their plans out. Or you can even launch some games and start playing. Pro tip! To configure your settings even further, you can download the app Nighthawk. So what Nighthawk allows you to do is set your router name. So remember that Netgear 14 and set that to whatever you like. Download the app onto your phone. I'll just go into it right now. It's launching the Nighthawk app right now. I'm right in here. So what we can do in this app is configure our Wi-Fi settings. So just go into Wi-Fi settings and it'll just load. Once we're into here, so we can see two settings, the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Basically, you can uh, set different names for each if you'd like. So for the 2.4, if you just click onto that, you can set your uh, network name to Ecos Network. And then now it's very important for you to change your password here if you don't want to keep the uh, magical out. So I'm going to change that right now to a secret password. 
just applying the configuration right now. So this will connect to the router, get that set up. And once you've configured your network name and your password, you're good to go. So if you're still having connectivity problems, Uquest has the best customer service with 24-7 tech experts. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.